All right. It might be a little early to call this, but I'm calling it right now. Bowser's Fury is the game of the year. The only bad thing about Mario Odyssey is that eventually it ends. They did bring in the balloon mode, which was a lot of fun, but at some point that's over too, and then you experience the worst part of being a Mario fan. Waiting for the next game. Super Mario World to Yoshi's Island. That's a five year gap. 64 to Sunshine. That's a six year gap. Sunshine to Galaxy. Another five year gap. And now we're at three years since Odyssey came out, and we still don't have any word on Odyssey 2 if that's even in the works. However, in between 3D World and Odyssey, we got a game called Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which was developed by Nintendo EPD8, which is the studio behind the big dog Mario games. Now you might have picked up on this over the years, but I'm kind of a Mario fan. That being said, even I didn't play Treasure Tracker until years after the fact. Bowser's Fury is the new Captain Toad, because if you don't play it, you're being a dumbass. Just like Captain Toad, Bowser's Fury rearranges all of the mechanics and ideas from Mario 3D World in such a creative way that it feels like a brand new experience. If, like me, you've been waiting on that Mario Odyssey DLC, here you go. Here is one massive level. But just one level, Dunk, you're saying to me right now? Ah, but Frankie, Bubby, this is one big ass chonko, big Yoshi size level. See what I'm talking about, Frankie? Although you do have the free camera, like Odyssey, your moves and just about everything else is straight out of 3D World with one tweak and that you can now roll out of a jump and this is implemented in 3D World as well. It's pretty much a dive with a very limited range, but that one small change lets you get a lot fancier with your movement. Yonka Dingo is back and you can ride him all over the lake while he destroys everything in his path. It's impressive how he is always right where you want him to be, you never have to summon him him or wait for him to come to you he's just there like magic now can we talk about this soundtrack holy shit a moly they bypass sicko mode here and went straight to fucko mode on the lake you have this calming soothing melody this is the song you're gonna keep whistling after you play the game but then once you step foot on an island the violins come in you gotta love this is so playful so energetic and then they switch it up. Now this is very fancy now. It's like a mysterious waltz, very sophisticated. But then you jump on Nanka Dingo. Everything in this game is a cat. Goomba is a cat. Cheap Cheap is a cat. Koopa is a cat. Look at the floor. That isn't even grass. The terrain itself is a cat. Mario transforms into a gigantic Super Saiyan lion. What? I almost feel like it's a waste to talk about the level design because it's 3D Mario we're talking here. It's just kind of a given at this point that the shit is virtually flawless. There isn't an ounce of fat on this game. It's just idea, 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 and every single one is extremely polished. Nintendo may be giving us a glimpse into the future of Mario here. With Galaxy 2, you had a bunch of side missions for players that veered off the main path. Sometimes you would like feed a Luma to get blasted to a secret zone or find a monkey challenge down a pipe. The thing is, once you beat them and get the star, you would get booted out of the level. So 3D World starts looking at those star coins and it goes, okay, the side challenges are a fun idea, but we can't let them interrupt the pacing. Then Mario Odyssey really starts to run with that idea of taking all of the content in the game and stitching it together in a very seamless way. Bowser's Fury goes even further. Remember when you had to go through a menu to pick what level you want to play? Ah, truly pathetic. How about this? If you want to go to the next level, just go there. Where did the seams go? Because I can't see them anymore. Last year I was playing through the new Super Mario Bros games again and they're fun games but what's really obnoxious is how often they boot you out to the overworld screen. It got me thinking, dang, 
They should just make a Mario game with one huge continuous level. And now here it is. It seems like such a small touch, but in a game like Mario, you never want to be interrupted. You just want to go, go, go. And I think a lot of people are going to boot this up and complete the entire game in one sitting because it is so addictive how they've structured it and because it's only like three or four hours long. Yes, this is a short game, even for people who wanna go through and 100% it, and that's really my only complaint with Bowser's Fury. This is just an appetizer to some masterpiece off in the distance, but it's so exciting and so well made that I will be very impressed if we see a better game than Bowser's Fury released this year. Oh, yeah.